You know what happens when we put regular ice in water, but what would happen if I put dry ice in water? Today we will learn about all of this and more with my dry ice bubble experiment. Hi everyone, I'm Emily Calandrelli, MIT engineer and host of Emily's Wonder Lab. And on my channel, we learn about all things space and science. So grab some dry ice because we are about to make a bubble like you've never seen before. Dry ice is just frozen carbon dioxide. It is so extremely cold. It's actually negative 109 degrees Fahrenheit. It's why I have to use these heavy duty gloves. And so parents and adults, this is so cold that it could actually burn your skin. So you wanna be very careful here, wear gloves to handle dry ice and make sure that you are doing this and not the kids. Now, why is this called dry ice? Well, you'll notice it doesn't melt like regular water ice. Instead, this goes straight from a solid to a gas in a process called sublimation. This is why dry ice is often used in shipping to ship things like ice cream or pizza from far away or different meats because it doesn't melt into water and get your box all soggy. Instead, it just sublimates into the air. And you see this very cool looking fog coming off of it? You might think that that's carbon dioxide sublimating away from our dry ice, but no, because carbon dioxide is invisible to our eye. Instead, what that is, is the water vapor in the air getting so cold that it's condensing, creating this beautiful fog-like effect. So now I am going to teach you how to make the coolest bubble ever with some dry ice. Here's what you need. So we are going to have a bowl with our soapy solution. And for our soapy solution, we are going to use one cup of water with one tablespoon of dish soap. And gently stir that up. Now that you've made your soapy solution, I want you to pick out a big bowl. And here's the trick. We want it to have sort of a flat lip to the outer edge. That'll become important in a second. And once you pick out your bowl, I want you to get an old t-shirt and cut out a strip of fabric from the t-shirt. It just needs to be wider than the diameter of your bowl because we're gonna drape it across the bowl like this, okay? And now we are ready to create our dry ice bubble. Get excited. Okay, so now what you wanna do is fill your bowl up with some hot water, just about, we want it to mostly cover our dry ice, so we're gonna go maybe a third of the way up the bowl. Now, get your strip of fabric and we're going to dunk it and our soapy solution. You just wanna get it really soapy and sudsy. Just make sure it's completely wet with your soapy sudsy solution. Now, put on your heavy duty gloves and place your dry ice in your warm water. What do you think will happen? You ready for this? Three, two, one. Look at it sublimating. By heating this up, we are just really expediting that sublimation process. So you can see all of that water vapor in the air condensing and rolling out the side of our bowl. Why is it falling down? Well, because carbon dioxide is denser than air. It is mixing with that water vapor and they're all falling down to the surface. So take your, take your fabric and just go ahead and drape it across the side of the bowl just so the entire lip is soapy and sudsy. And now, stretch out your fabric just like this. And we are going to drape it across the outside of the bowl. There you go, you can see, do you see the soap? Do you see the bubble? You see the bubble? Right there, right there, right there. You wanna get it all the way to the end. Don't stop until you got there. Okay, great. So now we have our bubble and watch this. That dry ice is sublimating in the water vapor. The fog is building and building and building, creating our beautiful dry ice bubble. Look at this. This is one of my favorite science experiments. I love this one. It's getting so big. Look at that surface tension holding on to the bubble, keeping it in its bubble form. You will be so tempted to want to pop it. Don't do it yet. Let it grow, let it grow, let it grow, let it grow. Look how cool this is. <gasps> this is the biggest bubble I've ever seen. Look at it, look at it, look at it. <gasps> oh, and all the fog spills out. How cool is that? Let's make another one. 
and I find it to be easier to sort of just move the other side of the fabric, keeping one of your hands mostly in the same spot, because this part is a little tricky. There we go. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And that is a dry ice bubble. So cool. And now I thought we'd supersize it. So let's go ahead and see if we can make this bucket work. I'm going to throw water in here first. All right, we are preparing the outside of our bucket here. Now we're going to put our dry ice in. Get ready for sublimation. In three, two, one. Woo! Whoa, we're using a lot at once. Oh my gosh. Parents and adults, make sure that you are doing this in a well-ventilated area. Open up the windows and make sure you have some airflow going in there. Oh, here we go. Look at this, 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 look at this. Oh my goodness, what? Okay, 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 okay. Ah! I think I screamed it away. Okay, let's do that again. This is a fun experiment to see how big of a dry ice bubble you can make. Whoa, click, 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 click. <gasps> Nobody breathe. Nobody move. It's growing so fast. <laughs> Thanks for making dry ice bubbles with me. If you like this one, be sure to check out my best selling, Stay Curious and Keep Exploring book series for 99 more science experiments. I'm Emily Calandrelli. Subscribe for all things space and science. And remember, stay curious and keep exploring. I'll see you next time. Step to the glove. Emily's Science Lab.